Yo guys, what the hell is up? This is CSS for Beginners, Lesson 17, and in this video we're going to talk about adjacent selectors. That's coming right up. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back here in the code, and as you can see I've created a brand new page for you. It's called articles.html, and it's very simple. We've kept the same head and uh, the body and the header here as the other pages. However, we've added this content in here, which is a div with an ID of all articles. And then within that, we've got three dummy articles, which by the way, I took a long time to write. As you can see, the content is brilliant. So if you get a few spare minutes, feel free to read through that for you guys. Anyway, um, what is an adjacent selector? So an adjacent selector is a selector that selects an element which comes directly after another element. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, that's useless. If I want to target an element, I'll target it directly. Now, yeah, you can do, but imagine this scenario. We've got this page here with some articles, some dummy articles in it, three of them. And each one is made up of a H2. Then it's got a P tag directly after it, which says who it's published by. And then underneath that, you've got P tags for the actual content. It's the same structure in each article. Now imagine that we want this second P tag here to be targeted separately and styled in a different way than these P tags here. Now, how can we do that? You might say, yeah, we can go in and give this a class of, I don't know, publisher. And we could do that for this one, this one, and this one. Then we could style that class uh, a bit differently. And yeah, you can do that. But now imagine that you had 50 articles. Now you'd have to go and give each one of those a class of publisher. Not really time efficient if you're asking me, so not the best way to do it. This is where adjacent selectors come in because you can do it without putting anything else in the HTML, which is brilliant. Great time saver. So how do we do this then? Well, if we were to say, give it a selector of all articles, which is this div here, this is the parent div, and then we're saying we want all the P tags, which are descendants, What's that going to do? Well, that's going to go out and find all the p tags which are descendants of this, which is every single p tag here. And it's going to style all of them the same. We don't want that. We just want this one. So what we have to do is delete that p there. And we use an adjacent selector. So in each one, it comes directly after the h2. So what we need to do is say we want to get all the p tags within all articles that come directly after the h2, at uh, the h2. And the way we do it is this. We're saying we want to grab all the h2 descendants first of all articles. That's this, this, and this. And then we use the adjacent combinator. That's a plus sign. And then the p tag. And then we can put our declaration. Let's just give it a color of green. So this is saying here, all articles is the parent then get me the H2 descendants, that's this, this, and this. And then this little plus sign is saying, and get me the P tag, which is an adjacent P. So any P tag that comes directly after the H2, which is these three, get me those, and we'll style those. That's what we use this adjacent combinator for. Okay, makes sense? So I'm gonna save this now, and we'll view it in the browser just to make sure that it's worked. Get that in Chrome. There we go, now you can see that these are styled nicely in green. We can apply whatever styles we want to those and they're gonna be different to this without adding anything to the HTML. So really great technique. Now, if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment below, I'll answer all of those. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, uh, please like them or share them. There's another one coming very soon, so I'm gonna see you guys in that one. I'll see you guys then.